Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game. It's a playoff game. Seattle Pilots hosting the Cairo Cats here at Greater Nevada Field in a night game. And welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Cats and the Pilots. And we have the... This is the Team Affinity Season 3 mini-season. Playoffs, season baseball semifinals, Game 1. To see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. And stepping in is the speedy Cedric Mullins. Got the logo finally working in the overlay. It took several opportunities, uh, several chances, several tries to do that. I'll figure it out eventually. J.R. Richard is on the mound for the Seattle Pilots in for a strike. And that's in how this game, game one started. of the semifinals. Between the Cairo Cats and the Seattle Pilots. And now it's even it up. Just missed. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Swings and misses, struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Jonathan Scope. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Jonathan Scope had a pretty good year, if those numbers are accurate. They seem to be wrong more often than Next not is fouled back. here in the GBL. The 0-2. This to center field. Turner in pursuit. And that quickly, two away. Here's Gary Sanchez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First offering and it just misses. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy. I love this stadium. When you can hit, you know, both sides. I don't know much about it. I don't know if it's a rendering of uh, another real life stadium. I don't think it is. Ah, that ends the inning. I could be very wrong, though. I don't live in Nevada, and I've not seen anything that looks like this. Zero zero. So, uh, I think it's a fictional stadium. I like it nonetheless. Cairo Cats are number four, the number four seed, Ready and the Seattle the Pilots the are your top three. Turner at the plate. The center fielder. Brian Mata. And the pitch. On the bump for Big the Cats, and field. Trey Turner starts things off with a base hit. He has been lethal on the base paths. Or the, the pilots this year. Long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see. And yeah, we are. Get We're going to send them right away. So now the DH he leads spot, the league Mike in Cameron. stolen bases. Turner that was a terrible jump. It was an off-speed strike. pitch, though, and yeah, Trey Turner's in there safely. Not even close. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. That was Speed a terrible bases, jump for Trey Turner's standards. But an off-speed pitch gave him plenty of time to get there. There you go. Could be extra bases. Rockets it down the left field line. Turner scores easily. 
and the Pilots have a one nothing lead. Run scores on the play. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base. And that's got the dugout all fired up. Tell Marte up to the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Swing and a ball hit out towards that left might center drop. field. Nope. Rice snags it on the run. Nice catch, Jimmy. Batting four. The right fielder. John Peterson. And now Jack Peterson. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Peterson rips it into center field. center field. That's going to bring in a run. Two-nothing Seattle. By two. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Man at first with one gone. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. In the air, left side. Rice trying to get there. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away down. Batting six. The third baseman, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right handed batter. There's some way out in front for of that. For whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they'd actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Peterson leads off first with two down to the inning. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And the Peterson runner stays, stays where he is. Right where he was. Smart decision. Kicks and deals. Cuts <laughs> and misses. It's a strikeout. That's all right. The pilots get two. One complete here at Greater Nevada Field in game in. one. One inning in the books here. Pilots, pilots two. With the lead, two to nothing. Cats, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Luke Voigt. Well, after putting up a nice Boy. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team there, any let's hope. Let's get the bullpen uh, ready. Get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Richard had a good first inning. Let's hope that continues here in the, the second. Of the zone and a called strike. Oh, Boom, our man Daryl Parker, DP. DP. Played for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that <laughs> it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not as you should, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Not to mention, it's pretty much J.R. Richards' real change up. The play. Troy Gloss. That slider is his slowest pitch. First offering misses the mark. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. The one one is fouled off. Swings and misses. 
back to back strike. So seven mile an hour difference. Not really a lot of a difference there between his fastball and his slider, but it's enough of a difference to be an effective off speed pitch. His changeup, if you will. Riding to the plate. That one fouled off. And the 2 This one lifted in the air, left field. Schwarber settles under it. Makes and he puts it away. We go to the bottom half of the second inning at Greater Nevada Field tonight. Game one of the semifinals. Pilots two, cats nothing. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Bruce Zimmerman. And they He's two and three. From the pin Fifteen with the games. ERA of seven. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And here is Anthony Rizzo. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Lays out. He's got it. Throw to first. And that's a great yeah. play for the out. Yeah. Good wood on it. Well, nice play by the first baseman. Go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Carter. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs. Pitchers fielding plays. So digging in, Gary Carter. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. Fought off foul. Just a little late on that. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and Gary really Carter. yourself. Face hits the right field. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to him every day. He was all over that one. That nice job of driving that pitch the stop. other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so oh, many reps oh, yeah. in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Luis Arise stands in. Snap throw to first. Hey. Carter back on a dive. I don't know how many stolen bases Gary Carter had in his career but I'm going to say it was less than 10 on the ground a second might be I don't know why you're Flips for throwing pickup moves play. over there too and that'll do it for the inning double play one kills the, the potential inning. rally we head on down to the top of the third the pilots have the advantage two to nothing nicely turned double play by Cairo all set for the start All right, the J.R. Richard may have baseman, one batter in him. Jason Giambi. Jason. Maybe two. Hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. That's in there. Strike one. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. And now the count is even. Late with the swing there. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The one two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Peterson drifts towards it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. All right, all right. That one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. Yep, we'll let him go one more batter. This is going to be it, though. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Got him. Nice job. Last out. 
Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some frozen him. Arm side run at the end to yeah, he's the in the red. Part of the plate, but with two strikes, bring you in Liam. Swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Liam Hendricks, 22 on games now. on the season, the two and one, 18 two saves. He blew three saves though. Has an ERA of 3.45. And the batter now, Greg Jones. And a foul ball. Never heard of this guy. 64. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. He's in a great spot. Makes you wonder right how the, the count Cats two. got to the playoffs the with a 64 right here, in their lineup. Got him! Pilots win. They lead the series one game to none. Game, a two nothing win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice job to jump ahead and a great job by the pitching staff to shut him out. Liam Hendricks with the one batter save, one third of an inning, and the Pilots lead the best of five series one game to none. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, Mata took the loss. J.R. Richard got the, the victory. Best, especially this time of year. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. J.R. Richard got the win. Brian Mata took the loss. Liam Hendricks gets the save. Only had to pitch one-third of an inning. The Seattle Pilots got two runs on four hits. The Cairo Cats, nothing. No runs, no hits. They made no errors. So the Pilots lead the best of five series. One game to none. There's Mike Cameron rocketing that one down the left field line for the first RBI of the game. Jock Peterson, an RBI single to make it 2 nothing, and that's all the Knights needed. I'm sorry, the Pilots. I keep forgetting. Habit keeps saying the Knights. Nice play there by Jason Giambi at first base for Cairo. That saved another potential run there. It's hanging up quite a bit here. And there's Liam Hendricks with the final pitch of the game to earn the save, giving the Pilots a 1-0 lead. J.R. Richard is your player of the game. He got the win, two and two-thirds innings, no runs, no hits. He struck out four. Liam Hendricks says save number 19 on the year. I think that's accurate. Nothing to report for Cairo. For Seattle, Mike Cameron was one for one with an RBI. Trey Turner was one for one. Jack Peterson, one for one with an RBI. And Gary Carter was one for one as well. So the Seattle Pilots win game one, two nothing. J.R. Richard, the winner, he's five and one on the year with a 1-4-2 ERA. Liam Hendricks picks up the save, lowering his ERA to 3.38. Pilots get the 2 nothing game one victory at Greater Nevada Field this evening. They lead the Cairo Cats one game to none in the GBL semifinals. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.